Okay, let's make money with YouTube Shorts. First, we add the title. Then, we'll put in some stock footage right like this, size it so it looks good, then put the money-making method right here on the bottom, drag that out so it's about a minute long, upload our video right like this, add my three secret elements so you can get more traffic, and then payday. Well, uh, I've been watching them videos about how to make money with YouTube Shorts. I haven't got me some YouTube Shorts. And I haven't made one dollar. All right, so we're just gonna pretend we didn't just see that last clip. Because today, what I'm gonna do is talk to you about the real way to make money with YouTube Shorts. This is so diabolically simple, your head's gonna spin. Figuratively. Not literally. So let's dive in. Today, what I'm gonna show you is part one, YouTube Shorts, how do they work? Part two, intro to my secret summary method. Keep watching, you're gonna wanna see this. Part three, getting your content. 13 killer ideas I'm gonna reveal. Part number four, making your video and adding your profit center. And part number five, boom, how to piggyback traffic and rake it in big time. Now it goes without saying that by watching this video, you're not guaranteed to make money. We don't know what you're gonna make, we don't know what you're gonna do, but I am gonna reveal some strategies that work like crazy if you implement them. There is risk, but there's also reward. So keep that in mind and remember, the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. Now, let's dive in to what YouTube Shorts are. YouTube Shorts are quite simply short form video content like content that would be shown on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or anything where you're watching a video that's like a minute or less. You can see here, there's over 53 million YouTube Shorts spread across over 4.9 million channels. And there's a lot of Shorts, which begs the question, how are we gonna make money with this stuff? Well, first of all, we need to look at how money is made on YouTube. If you create a video on YouTube, it gets views, you can then monetize those views with YouTube monetization, where they share ad revenue with you, or affiliate marketing, brand deals, or promoting different products you may own. Now, long form content on YouTube usually leads to a longer view, which means you're gonna make more money on ads and promos. The downside is they take longer to create, and obviously, since they take a long time to create, there's more risk if you don't get traction. Now, the traditional way that a long form video is uploaded is in 1920 by 1080, which is the high definition format. You upload these traditionally on your YouTube channel and you can have any length video. YouTube shorts, on the other hand, are super easy to create. In this video, you're gonna learn to make shorts in literally a couple of minutes. Now, the downside is a shorter view equals less attention, which usually means less money, unless you listen to your old buddy Marcus here. And of course, there's very little risk since you can create these on your computer practically for nothing and have them done in a couple of minutes. The format is the reverse. So instead of 1920 by 1080, we're gonna do 1080 by 1920, which is gonna make this long video content, as you'll notice on the shorts. See how it shrinks it down like that? We can create these using a mobile app or on our computer and upload them to YouTube through the app or the regular computer upload center. Your video is gonna be 60 seconds or less to be considered a short. And if you wanna let YouTube know that your video is a short, just put hashtag short at the end of the title. Now let's dive into part number two, which is the summary method. Now the summary method is very important because what we're gonna do is piggyback on the fact that people are looking for short, quick information clips, and that's what YouTube Shorts is all about. If you were to take a look here from the Ahrefs keyword tool, you could see that the word summary gets over 70,000 searches a month. Coming close is stock market summary, which is 58,000 searches a month or less for people looking for a summary of the stock market each and every day. Look at all these people watching short videos about the stock market. They're all less than a minute and they're raking in views like crazy. Did you catch that? That's an opportunity if there ever was one. We can also see Green New Deal summary, Roe versus Wade summary, law summaries, all kinds of crazy stuff people are looking for short to the point summaries on. And if you were to go over to theprofitscoop.com and use my YouTube keyword search tool, you can put the word summary 
choose under four minutes and hit search, this is automatically going to search YouTube Shorts to find videos with the word summary that fit the Shorts criteria. And apparently, it thinks I'm looking for actual Shorts. But you can see here, there's a lot of videos with some decent views that are under one minute long, giving summaries on various different topics. You can also see thousands of people each and every month looking up the word overview, 5.4 million views, 8,000 views, 3.9 million views, 180,000 views, and on and on we go. You can also see people looking for quick tips, which by the way, check this out. If we were to do a search for shorts on recipes, 197,000 views, 27 million views, 10,000, 12 million, 451,000, and on and on we go. People looking for short recipe videos, which don't even include a person in them. We could see people looking for cheat sheets, recaps, daily things, daily stuff like horoscopes, Bible verses, devotionals, and more. And you could see the Bible niche is ripe with little short videos raking in traffic like crazy. Now that's all fine and good if we can get traffic, but how are we gonna make money? Well, boy, I don't know. I done got these YouTube shorts and I haven't made a dollar. Well, before we get to that, let's talk about how we're gonna get our content because without making content, you're not gonna get views and without any views, you can't make money and you need to choose your content before your monetization method because you need to know what your video needs to do to get them to the money stuff. So let's go to part three, which is getting your content. First of all, what we need to pay attention to is summary quick content. So what we wanna do here is go and find short or long videos. Doesn't really matter what size the videos are about a certain topic say it's Bibles or stock markets or whatever. Maybe it's workouts, all right? And we're gonna find a bunch of videos. Maybe they're all about bench press, all right? And we're gonna do bench press workouts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at all the videos that are in this niche that are getting lots of traffic and lots of views, very important. Second, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the titles of those videos and we're going to look for keywords maybe they'll say bench press over a hundred or increase your bench press or bench press max or the wrong way to do a bench press and we're going to take a look at some of those keywords that are alongside the word bench press and we're going to include these in the title of our video but we don't want to go too crazy right so maybe we'll do something like bench press most people get this wrong something like that all right, then what we are going to do is we are going to summarize what we learn in a bunch of videos. Let me show you how this works. In preparation for this video, I found out that a lot of people were making videos about how to make money with YouTube Shorts. There was some junk, there was some good stuff, there was some crazy, like, non-useful stuff, but all in all, I found some videos that were pretty good. What I did is I went over to a writing service like HireWriters.com, and I ordered an article where I told these people to go watch videos on YouTube Shorts and make a list of the overlapping tips. So if you go for bench press, some people are gonna say, keep your arms straight, don't arch your back, keep your feet on the ground, make sure you lift this much weight, and they're gonna have some tips that overlap. What I wanna do is condense all the tips from all those videos into one short little one minute video that packs a punch. Same thing here. When we're going for summary and quick content, what I did is I had them write a big article. It's like a 2000 word article. According to higher writers, we could see here, it cost me approximately, I think it was 20 bucks, or you could even do a short one if it's a short one for like $8 or six bucks or even five bucks, all right? And we can have them do a summary of the tips that are included in a lot of different videos. So what's gonna happen here is these guys are gonna do the dirty work for me. And if I want them to actually write the video content for me, check this out. If I go 150 to 300 words, which is plenty for a one minute video, it only costs me a buck 85. And the best way to make this work is to pick one major topic type. Maybe I'm gonna do recipes, weight loss, weightlifting, 
stock markets, money making, whatever it is, I'm gonna pick one topic to put my short videos all around. Now, some of the topics that work best for these type of short videos are daily tips, quick hacks, interesting facts, testing out different products and different types of things, quick stories, maybe you're telling a story about something, gags, pranks, jokes, or magic tricks, entertainment, if you're just gonna entertain people, although these kind of things don't make that much money. Short reviews, that one can make a lot of money. Experiments, maybe where you're doing little science experiments. Snippets or little clips, behind the scenes if you have a bigger channel. Comparisons, if you're selling a product, you could do fails, parodies, and more. And once you've decided what type of content you're gonna build, then you choose your video topic and you do the title method, then it's time for part number four, creating your content. Now it's very important that you follow the order that I'm teaching you all of these steps because we wanna get to part number four and we wanna make our video after we've added our profit center and we know how we're gonna make money. Now, the beautiful thing about YouTube Shorts is that by nature, if I show you a short version of something, like if I showed you 60 seconds on how to make money with YouTube Shorts, you're naturally gonna want more information, which makes these ripe for the picking to get them over to our website, our affiliate links, or whatever it is that's going to put money in our pocket. This is very, very important. So if you're making a video about weight loss tips or working out, you could go to the ClickBank Marketplace, which is a popular affiliate network. You could type in weight loss or workout, and you can find a product that fits the content of your video. This needs to fit very closely. If you're talking about recipes, you need a recipe program. If you're talking about diets, you need diet. If you're talking about stocks, find something for stocks. We can find this on the ClickBank Marketplace. We can find this with affiliate networks, such as the ones listed on OfferVault. So if we wanna do workout, we can find different workout things and stuff like that. So you could sell the flex belt and get $68 a sale or whatever it is. Very cool, very easy. And we need to know how we're gonna make money before we create our video. Now, once we have our list, let's say we went to hire writers or we made a list on our own. What we're gonna do is we're going to take that list, we're gonna put it into Notepad or Microsoft Word or whatever it is we like. We're gonna take this description, this big long thing that was written that takes notes from all the other stuff and we're gonna strip out the good things. So we're gonna say, okay, uh, step one, how to find and pick your YouTube short niche. Okay, good. That's gonna be number one, boom. Then we're gonna skip down to number two and we're gonna strip this down so it gives them good information but also gives us like a one minute video. Okay, very, very important, very easy. Now. Keep in mind, if you had your people or you wrote it on your own, a big long post like this, you're gonna use this as a blog post and you're gonna tell the people who just watched your short video that if they want the full version of the tips to go to your website. That's so easy, it's not even funny. We're gonna get them there, right? And we can have little lists and things like this and then we're gonna shorten this down into a one minute video. Now, when it comes time to create your video, this is very important, pay close attention. We're gonna open up our favorite video creation program and we're gonna make sure the project settings are set to 1080 by 1920, the exact reverse of HD. That's gonna make it this big, long format like this, which works for YouTube Shorts. Then we're gonna put in a header, in this case, how to make the perfect omelet. We're gonna put a footer so that they know what to do after the video. This is gonna to go to my website or my blog where they can get more information. Now, if you're doing this all in one channel, you can use one short URL or domain name that you could set up at gohubsite.com in like 15 minutes, and you could set this up with your affiliate offers and tell them, hey, get the full recipe, get the notes, get more tips, get whatever it is at my website. This is how you're gonna make the money, very important, say it with me. I'm gonna make money by telling them what to do next. All right, then we're gonna go through and we could go to like videoblocks.com or storyblocks or whatever place you wanna go, uh, maybe even clipart.com and you can get little video clips and show them what to do. So when we create our video, we can choose some music, we can put in some clips like this egg frying in the pan here, very simple. 
and then we could put some text, right? So we go through and we're like, all right, I'm gonna say, you know, add eggs, right? So before this comes in, we'll put this here like this, and we'll do add three eggs or whatever, right? If I was talking about money stuff, I'd, I'd have a tip about that. Center it, you can make it bold, you can make it whatever color you want. Boom, add three eggs. So now it looks like this. Add three eggs. All right, we'll shorten that because it doesn't need to be that long. So now it's gonna be add three eggs. Boom, there it is, right? And then we'll just go ahead and shorten this up a bit. Step two, uh, you know, add some cheese or whatever, fry the eggs. Step two would be fry the eggs, right? And you're gonna get this from your notes that you got in the last step when you're creating your content, right? Then we say fry the eggs, boom, right like this, all right? And then we could say, you know, grade some cheese or whatever, add cheese, all right, like this, add cheese, boom. And then if we put some music to it or whatever, uh, we could go like this and make sure you get the rights to the music, all right? And if you don't have music, don't worry. In the YouTube Shorts creation platform, they have music you can use, right? So we'll just go like this and we'll make a little one minute video. It's pretty cool. Yeah, rocking out to the omelet. Simple, right? So there you got it. You create your little video like that. And then at the last bit, like let's say you're getting down to the last couple minutes, all you gotta do, or at last couple seconds as it were, all we gotta do is make this arrow come in like this and it'll tell them where to go. And we don't need any text on the arrow, right? And then we could just go like this. If I want, I could put like a dropping looking thing on it. So we'll do, um, let's see, jump and fall. There we go. Right, like this, during none. And this is the Camtasia program, by the way. Most video recorders will do the same kind of thing. So when they get to the, the end, right, we can have this point right at the get this recipe. Simple, right? Now, again, the point here is make a good video. You want to teach them in 60 seconds what like 20 other videos are gonna teach them, but really condensed, right? So if I listen to 15 different people talk about the stock market, all right, most of them are gonna have the same tips, but there's gonna be some that don't overlap and we're gonna make a really good list. Boom, we read that, make a 60 second video and we're good to go. Now, when we're done with this, all we have to do is export it, export it, right? We're gonna do 1080 by 1920, boom, we create it. It's gonna make our file, and when we create our file, we wanna make sure that we title it after the different videos that are there, right? So if I'm going for omelet, I would wanna include maybe homemade omelet, perfect omelet, uh, best omelet, homemade. See, I definitely want homemade because it's showing up in a lot of them. Western omelet, right? And you could literally make a channel making all the different omelets in 60 seconds, lead them over to your website to get the magic frying pan that makes omelets with ease, find affiliate programs that fit, maybe cooking or pans or utensils or whatever it is, or even cooking affiliate, or even cooking programs on ClickBank, recipe offers like the recipe download. There's lots of ways to make money. Then, when you're done with your video, you upload it to YouTube using the title that you came up with based on the other titles, you let it fly, and get some views and make some money. Now, the key to making this work is in number five, part five, the piggyback method. What we need to do is we need to focus on what is getting traffic. You see, YouTube works on recommendations. They spell it right, though. Recommendations, which means they want to find videos that your visitors want to watch. So if everyone out there is watching these videos about these omelets, they are going to take videos that people are watching and they're going to put them in front of them as long as they're good videos that do a good job and people watch them. Now, the way you're going to do this is by finding five 
to 10 videos in your market that get lots of views, okay? We're talking like 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, maybe even more. But if you stick in like the 20 to 100,000 range, that's going to get you a good chance because the competition is probably pretty low. So like the Bible stuff, the recipe stuff, these can be fantastic niches for YouTube shorts. You're going to take those five to 10 videos and you're going to look for similar words in the titles. So if it's like omelets with three eggs or Western omelet or homemade omelet or whatever it is, that is what I'm going to pattern my content after. I am not going to sit to make content until I see the keywords, till I see the titles, till I know exactly what I'm doing. This is going to help me get a lot of views. Now, I got to tell you, your first video probably won't take off. Your second video might not take off. This is going to take work and consistency, and you're going to need to learn from the data. But if you can follow the data, you can get the views, and the views is what's going to bring you the money. And again, remember, the barrier of entry is low. I just showed you how to create these videos. If you don't want to do the legwork yourself, it's like two bucks. If you do it yourself, you can do these pretty much free if you already have a video program. And then you just put the content out there, get the views, and make the money. Again, look at your keyword tools. Do your titles the right way. Take a look at the video in the description about 47 YouTube niches, and it's going to teach you a lot about keyword research so that you can do this the right way. And if you follow along with the videos in the description and this video, and you adapt that to the 60-second method, the YouTube shorts, you, my friends, can start getting some traction. And as always, if you like my videos and you want to learn to make money online, subscribe, smash the like button, click the bell, binge watch my stuff, and ask me questions, because we're here to help you make money online. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video that's going to pop up around here somewhere.